Hey, so you decided to go on this year's assembly journey, but you don't know where to start, what materials to use. You are confused about the whole process. If this is you, then this series is for you. Hello guys, my name is Abiola and I'm here to help you with your USML step one from the scratch. Now this is the second video in this series and we'll be focusing on materials you need based solely on my experience and opinion. If, if this is your first time, you should probably check my first video in this series. Now to the video. Let's approach this topic based on the hurdles that I think you need to overcome to pass the USML step one. And these are study, memorize, and practice let me repeat that again you need to study to know and to understand you need to memorize to remember and you need to practice to pass the exam so let's start with study this is the first phase of your preparation and it's a very important one and we'll be splitting it into two subdivisions general review and in-depth review just follow along you want to for the general review the only book i think you will need for general review is the first aid and I know many people will have questions about other books like the Kaplan's and other resources. But trust me, the only book that you need is First Aid. But I must say, some of the other resources out there are also very good. Because I did buy the Kaplan series and I studied one or two of the books in the series. And I did find these books to be very good. But the truth is, these books are very good for you when you are in medical school. For example, you are doing your biochemistry classes. And you are studying for the exam it is very good for you if you are in that situation but for the usmla exam itself i think it is too much because they go into detail and they draw out the explanations that at the end of the day it becomes too much that at the end of the day the time you are investing into it is not worth it but that's just my opinion anyway so i suggest just stick to first aid first aid is okay but first aid in my opinion is like a condensed encyclopedia and you need someone or something to explain the many many concepts in this material to you this is where video resources come in and for video resources the ones i would suggest is either physio or birds and beyond i said either physio or birds and beyond it, you don't need to use the two i tried both and i found physio to be better for me but any of these two resources is actually good to go along with your first aid but like i said i'm leaning strongly towards physio now let's talk in depth review and at this point i think i should say that none of the materials i recommend in this video are affiliated to me in any way at this point it's based solely on my experience and i think that you can benefit from it so for in-depth review i will list the materials that i found to go better with each subject are you ready ready let's go for biochemistry and immunology go with picturize after you are done with physio or birds and beyond for microbiology and pharmacology everybody will tell you that sketchy is best and and i totally agree you don't even need to use any other material. Just go straight to sketching for these two subjects. For pathology, Patoma by Dr. Satai is gold. For anatomy, use physio anatomy. And I know that I said you can either use physio or birds and beyond for everything. But for anatomy specifically, I think the physio videos are very, very good. They're not very much. So you can go to them like one week or three days depending on how free you are. I might make another video about any of these resources, discussing them in depth. If I get enough questions about it but now let's keep this video short and move on and let's do two memorizing this part is one of the most controversial and many people that have done the exam are divided into two two different school of thoughts about approaching this order I will explain memorizing is very is very important I mean everybody knows that and I cannot state how important it is to have this information at the back of your mind so that you can easily recall them on the exam day. So like I said, there are two methods of approaching this audio. One, rereading, rereading, rereading. Two, flashcards. And the most popular one is Anki. Trust me, Anki is a topic that deserves its own video. So I won't be going into details very much about it. But basically, it's a flashcard app where people can create flashcards, upload them, download them, and you can use other people's own so you don't have to create your own from the scratch so my opinion about approaching memorizing is it depends on you and the time that you have available till your till your exam but i would strongly suggest that you use flashcards and funny enough the makers of the first aid usmle step one agree with me and for the benefits of making this video short i won't be going into details on why i think flashcards is better than the reading method maybe i'll be making a short to explain my point of view but anyway 
you get it wait so i noticed that most of you that check out my content don't subscribe why yes you why have you to click the subscribe button please just click now click now and please follow me on twitter and instagram the links are there thank you now finally let's talk practice this i think is the most important phase in my opinion and I think it's very important for you to know that you need to do this after the first two. I see many people going into New World or Ambos during, their, during the first two phases. No, 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 no. You can try out other materials after you finish a topic, but you need to save the important materials for after you have finished the first two steps. For after you finish the first two phases of your preparation. These, I think there are two things you need. Practice tests like a mock and practice studying wait i just made that up but let me explain practice test is you taking a mock exam that will simulate the real thing it's what it's help you get a sense of where you are and what will your score be if you were if you were actually taking the real exam for for this your go-to resource should be the mbmes these are a series of six exams that were written by those who actually wrote the usmle exam so you should expect similarities between the MBMEs and the real exam. And I think you do one after you finish the memorizing phase just to get a sense of what your baseline is as you go into the practice phase proper. Now two, practice study. This is when you are doing different questions from different topics and subjects to test your knowledge on the material and understand how different questions can be framed from the same concept. For this, the two most popular materials out there are the Ambos question bank and the UWorld question bank. And sorry guys, I won't be able to make a fair comparison between these two materials because I only used UWorld and I passed. But I also know a lot of people that used only Ambos and they also passed. So I can confidently say that whichever question bank you use might not matter much, but I used UWorld. No more thing, I know that a lot of the materials I mentioned in this video can be gotten for free over the internet. I mean, I even got some for free sorry but a lot of these materials are very very expensive and as a and as an international medical graduate i just had to get some of it for free you know but for the last one the u world or amboss please do not use the offline one do not get tempted to download the offline version because it is very important for you to track your progress and to understand which subject or disciplines or topics you are least performing in and adjust appropriately the offline versions won't be able to give you this information so please for you word and ambos do not get them for free the others please try to pay if you have the means but i understand that it might be difficult so whatever you do do not get the u word or ambos for free with this we'll be closing up this video and remember if you have any questions please ask me in the comment section or anywhere twitter instagram or you can even mail me I will definitely reply you trust me again please subscribe like this video and follow me on other social media platforms if you find this video to be helpful to you next time in this series we'll be talking about the timeline of the usage of these materials and how to properly pace yourself especially for those that are still in medical school please click the notification button to get the video as soon as it is posted and don't forget to relax as you study take care of yourself and i'll be seeing you in the next one Bye.